Okay, okay. YouTube family, my junk family. I had to share this with y'all, all right? Hot spots for illegal dumping. I know where a few of them are. Um, let me just show y'all what's going on. All right, so behind me, you can see some stuff on the ground back there. Let me get this over my head. I know my head is pretty big, all right? But we got mattresses and stuff all the way back there, man. All right. Um, let me show y'all what else we got going on. And, and, and by all means, do not be these guys who are doing this right here. This is absolutely the wrong way to run a junk removal dumpster rental business. Because if somebody catch you doing this stuff, it's all bad. All right. It's all bad. Um, you don't want somebody taking a photo of you or a video of you doing this type of stuff and it go viral. You're putting your company at risk of people not dealing with you. All right. So even though you're taking on jobs that may be cheaper because you think it's okay to illegal dump, you're going to lose a lot more in the long run. All right. So let me just show y'all what's going on at one of these hot spots right here. All right. You got tires. Okay. You got a lot of tires. It used to be a bridge right here. I just found out from a gentleman walking back here that it used to be a bridge. It had structural damage and they used to cut through there um, to come over here to this plaza and go to the movies. Um, so a little fun fact of the day. I learned something new every day. I like that. All right. But look at this right here. We got mattresses or a mattress. Tires. An abundance of tires, man. Look at this. We got that. He got that. Just look at this stuff right here. I got my walking boot on today, man. And I just wanted to show y'all a hot spot that's notorious for illegal dumping. And there are a lot of them. But you don't want to be these guys doing this stuff, man. Just look at this stuff right here. And I'm back here with my truck. You know, but um, I'm filming footage, so in case the police or anybody want to know what's going on, I'm not those guys. I'm not that guy or whoever is doing this right here. Look at this. This is this is so ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. OK. Look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. All right. And then there's there's more there's more behind on the other side. Okay? So don't be these guys, man. All right, do it the right way, man. I know the dump fees are expensive, but you shouldn't be in this field of work if you're not willing to pay to dispose the junk the right way. Don't do it. Like I say, you're costing yourself more. That's your reputation. That's your business. That's your livelihood. All of that is on the line when you pull up and you throw things out. Now, I'm not perfect. I have done some things like this in the past when I first started, but it was tires. OK, I didn't know what to do with the tires at the time. I was not properly educated on how to dispose tires the right way. Now that I am. I don't do things like that anymore. And it only happened uh, maybe twice. I have visited this area right here. So maybe a couple of those tires in that pile are mine. I'm not going to lie. All right. But we don't do that anymore. And we're not the ones who put all them tires there that's accumulating like that. All right. Let me show y'all something else real quick. Over there, down there. More, more trash, more trash. All right, more trash. So, yeah, don't be them guys, man. Do it the right way. Dispose your junk the right way, man. All right, you got a lot riding on the line, man, if you want to be successful doing this. All right, there are no shortcuts to greatness. All right, no shortcuts, man. You got to earn that. Check y'all out on the next video. Peace.